What's up, Video Fort Nation? I'm Magic Bard, and we're gonna do this cool little animated drawing effect or uh, scribble effect, hand drawn effect. Um, there's a lot of different names for it, but you kind of get what I'm talking about. You've probably seen it in a few music videos out there. The first ones that came to mind was uh, Justin Bieber's "What Do You Mean" music video, where you see, you know, they wrote stuff out, letters, wording, and they kind of accentuated things, I guess. Um, let's see. Yeah, there you go. So it's a frame by frame kind of thing. So that's why it doesn't last on screen for a long time. You'll see it's on the wheels and then it'll go away. See, so it's really, it's an animator type thing. So this is my buddy Bryce Vine where he did it in his, where the, Wor where the wild things are music video. And you know, it's a little different way. And I mean, it's, he's kind of adding animation I mean, it basically is adding animation to his video. So it looks cool, it's a cool effect, and as you can see, or as you notice in both music videos, it's black and white, and they write on top of that. So it really kind of pops more, the yellow with the black and white, and that's, uh, that's kind of what we're doing. So let's check it out, let's get started. So we'll pause this. So take your video and bring it into a new comp, all right? And um, let's start with doing her pants, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this brush tool, click it. So what you're gonna have to do is double click on the layer and that will bring up the tool as you can see right here. And um, 15 pixels is good for me. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna start painting on the actress's body. Now this is Brie, we did a little workout video together and so I'm gonna do the effect on her once you have your brush tool open come down here to the paint and these are your settings for the paintbrush now make sure the duration is on single frame okay that means every time you do a paint mark it'll be only for this frame and what I mean by that is if you go one frame forward, one frame behind, it's only for that one, right? If you want it to be for the whole video, um, for the whole length of this project, you're going to hit constant, okay? And this brush mark will now be throughout the whole video, okay? And that's not what we're doing. So let's go back and undo those two strokes and we'll go to single frame and now just start painting okay and it's really as simple as that you do your first line go frame forward which is page down on your keyboard or you can move the playhead but uh, but keyboard shortcuts will speed up your editing and, and this is something you really want to do when you're doing an effect like this right and just start painting okay and you're gonna make the brush stroke longer every time and then you can page up, page down to see what you've done. And you can see how the brush is growing or the stroke is growing, whatever you want to call it. You know, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, boom, boom. Now let me fast forward here. All right, guys. So that's the brush stroke I made right here. And you can page up, page down to check it or kind of play with your playhead and scrub it around. And there you go. So then at the end, maybe you want to color it in. Um, you do the exact same thing. Or maybe you want to explode it, do some sparks. I don't know. Um, be creative with it. As you can see on the example that I made, we'll go into the composition. I did a few of them. So I did her pants, her sports bra, her, I uh, put on some sunglasses, little pink sunglasses, and they're all kind of drawn on. And then I filled them in and then exploded them. Now what you see in this one is I have a few layers out here. What you do is once you do this paint layer, okay, now you did your outline, you're going to duplicate the layer, which is if you're using a Apple computer like me, you're going to do Apple D, Command D, or um, Windows is, I think, Control D. I don't use a Windows. Maybe you guys can verify that in the comments. 
Um, and so now you have two layer, two of the exact same layer, okay? We're gonna turn this into our paint layer. So we'll call it pants paint layer. And uh, we'll make it yellow too, just so we know. Okay, so now we got our paint layer. And then what we'll do for now is just shut this layer off down here. Go into here, go into your paint layer, and then click on the effects control, and you'll see paint on transparent. Click that, and that'll only show your paint, which is kind of cool. And now this is an alpha channel, all this black, right? So we can check that by toggling our transparency grid. And uh, here we go, right? Now, this is the important part, okay? You have your first layer with Brie on it, and now you have your paint layer that you can turn off and on. Oops, actually, here you go. Brie, and what you're gonna do on this first layer with Brie, very important to turn off the effect, the paint effect. And you can just keep it here if you want, or you can even delete it if you feel like you're not gonna use it. So now you have your back to normal footage, and then you have your paint that you just made. Turn that on, there you go. Now, the point of doing this is you can add effects to this paint layer now. So for example, say that, um, and now we wanna open up our effects and presets panel, just go into your windows and effects and presets or command five, I believe that is, let me check. Um, command five, yeah. So go into your effects and presets and maybe you wanna change the color, okay? So bring in a fill and now you've got red or whatever color you want, blue, and the cool thing about that is, is you can also keyframe that color, okay? So maybe you're blue here, or maybe you're blue when you start, keyframe that right there, and then at the end, she's got red pants, okay? And now you can kind of see how the blue changes to purple, because blue and red equals purple, and then we're going down to red, right? So you can do something like that, that's pretty cool. Or what else can you do? You can add a gradient and have four colors, right? So do a little four color gradient. <clears throat> and that, now you're not, see, now you're starting to get creative with it. Um, I always try to push my friends or other uh, visual effects artists is how, how can you be different from uh, what other people are doing, right? So, you know, you have these cool music videos that are out. Um, I'm not saying this looks bad, but it's definitely a creative choice. Um, black and white with the yellow on it, it makes it pop. It looks good. That was his style. Justin Bieber's um, uh, What Do You Mean lyric video. They, they went with the basic, white and black, which is always, you know, the classic, looks good. Now, um, you want to be a little different, you can start adding effects to your, <clears throat> to your uh, paint, like this, gradients. And um, as you can see on my first one, I went with three different colors, right? Now, you know, the colors may not be uh, that crazy of a creative choice. So maybe you want to do, here, let me delete that. Maybe you want to add a image, okay? So you want that paint to be painting in an image. So what you do is you'll take the layer you want that image to be and you'll go to, say, the blue ice texture that I have right here, bring it under the paint layer, okay? And then you're gonna come right here to the track matte and go to alpha matte. And now it's going to paint on that image, okay? So that's kinda cool. We've got kinda this blue ice uh, texture that's painted on. And so now you can see how by separating the paint layer and making it its own layer, you can really do a lot with this effect. So yeah, guys, there you go. That's our animated drawing effect, scribble effect, whatever you want to call it, the hand-drawn music video effect. Um, fairly simple to do. It's just a matter of how much patience do you have and do you want to be an animator? Because this is essentially what animators do. do. They do frame-by-frame frame drawing. Um, you can obviously achieve something really cool with it and it's just a matter of putting time in. So thanks again for watching. This is Video Fort on Magic Bard. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.
What's up, Video Fort Nation? I'm Magic Bard, and I hope you just like that last tutorial we shot for you. Now let us know if there's any type of visual effects you want to learn or other type of filmmaking stuff. I don't know, maybe camera work, audio, anything. And we'll try to address it as soon as possible and get you a tutorial so you guys can know everything it takes to be an awesome filmmaker. So for now, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be the first to check out our new videos and hit us up with a comment, questions, concerns, or say what up. We'll try and say what up back. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.